please enjoy both commercial and tourist uh, uh, relations with Turkey and you've now rewarded it by attacking a, a fleet of ships that's come from Turkey and killed Turkish nationals. That's a great way to win friends, isn't it? Yes, this is unfortunate indeed. Uh, obviously, over the last few months, the relationship with Turkey has been, the atmosphere has been less positive than it was historically. We think that's regrettable. We'd like to have a much more positive relationship with Turkey, and we hope the Turkish government sees the, feels the same way about us. So are you going to apologize to them? Uh, for what? Killing their nationals. Well, it has to be very clear what happened uh, and how this incident uh, actually developed. There were six interceptions yesterday, six interceptions, all done by the Israeli Navy. All five of them were done peacefully, without violence, without harm to soul, to, to people. In one place, unfortunately, the hardcore extremists on the boat, as your previous piece showed, used violence and, and our soldiers who were in the operation. Uh, had to defend themselves. They were under very, very serious threat. Their lives were, were under threat. They had to respond. But as we've also uh, shown tonight, the actual boarding of the Turkish ship, which must have been the most sensitive object in this entire fleet, was completely cack handed. Well, once again, obviously we're investigating what happened because uh, we're not happy with the fact that there were nine fatalities. But our, our, our servicemen went into this operation as a police operation. The idea was just to take control of the boat and to bring it into the, the harbor of Ashdod. That was the goal. And obviously the, the, the aggression, the violence, the attacks from the people on the boat on our servicemen was something that was, was enormous. Our servicemen were under a, a very, very real threat, a very present threat, a threat of their lives, and under such circumstances, they are entitled to defend themselves as are British servicemen in similar situations. Have you learnt from what you've done uh, in, in the last 48 hours? Are you going to be treating the Rachel Corrie, which is on its way from Turkey even now as we speak? Uh, is that going to be treated with better respect? Are you going to allow it into its justified port of uh, Gaza? Why justified? Uh, I mean, you raise a whole series of issues there, and I'd like to answer each one if I could. Well, if I could just uh, follow up on that. I mean, uh, the, the point is the United Nations, just about every world leader has told you to lift the illegal blockade on Gaza. And, and that's been asked for immediately by the Security Council. So, first of all, a blockade is a legitimate tool when, when you're in a conflict, and of course you know that we're in a conflict with that Hamas regime in Gaza. There's a state of conflict. The United Nations, according to the United Nations rules, a, a, a naval blockade is totally legitimate form of international behavior. It even appears, I believe, in Article 47 of the United Nations Charter. To say that it's illegal, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. As to the sanctions on the Gaza Strip, they are a response to violence from Gaza into Israel. That's also a perfectly legal form of international behavior. Well, what are you going to do about the Rachel Corrie if it attempts to go in? What are you going to attempt to do to the Corrie? Well, the first thing I'll say, anyone who is bringing humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip, we promise that if you bring that aid to our port of Ashdod, we will guarantee that all humanitarian aid reach the people in Gaza. And if they don't want to deal with us because they don't like us, there's a Muslim country and it. An Arab country, Egypt, has made a similar offer through its port of Al-Arish. Yeah, but the, the reason nobody is wants to take on you up on your offer is because you can't be trusted. Why is that? Because you no, have no, severed 80% of the aid that's been going into Gaza. It is down to 20% of the levels. This is according to the International Red Cross and the United Nations. It's down to 20% of levels before you started strangling the place. Let's be very clear here. They don't want us to take us on, up on the offers because they want to make a political statement to break the blockade. It's not because they don't believe the aid won't be delivered. And may I just explain to viewers why we need that blockade, if you'll allow me? It's clear that if that blockade did not exist, if we didn't have the naval blockade on the Gaza Strip, you'd have the inclusion into Gaza of very dangerous weapons and missiles from Iran, from Syria. You know that uh, from the Gaza Strip, thousands of rockets have been fired on Israeli cities, on Israeli civilians. The short-range rockets are made indigenously in the Gaza Strip. The right. longer ones, the more dangerous ones, those ones with the most powerful warheads, are military-range uh, grad rockets. They come, of course, from Syria, from Iran. Right. We have to check cargo going into let, the Gaza Strip. Let me ask Strip. you That's this clear. then. If your allies, the Turks, and they are still technically allies, uh, uh, decide to accompany the next flotilla with a warship, what are you going to do? Because they're saying they're going to. Sort of is, no, they are saying, they're actually they're saying... About? The Prime Minister said in Parliament today that the next flotilla uh, will very likely be accompanied by a Turkish warship. What will you do? I, 
What will you do? I, I, I don't think this is serious. What will you do? Sir, I don't think it's serious. Of course it's serious. it's serious. Of course question. it is serious. This is an incredibly sure serious, serious situation. This could, could result in you're major warfare. The Turks are about to send warships. You're, you're telling me the Turks are about to send warships to attack Israel? Well, why don't you get on the telephone really, and ask sir, them? I don't, I don't why know don't you get on the telephone and ask them? I don't think it's them. serious. I, the, the, I, don't I don't ask know me where if, you got this from. Don't ask me if I'm serious. Check with the Turks. Mark Regger, thanks for joining us. Thanks My for joining pleasure. us.